to my channel if you are new here welcome I am Brittany aka Beauty Fools for today's video I wanted to create just a beautiful monochromatic Valentine's Day look I gave you a little two-in-one tutorial if you can't already tell from the description box in addition to this full look well part of this full look is just a fuller poutier lip so I included a very in-depth lip tutorial as well at the end of this video so be sure to watch through the end if you would like to learn how i achieve this look please keep watching if you liked what you saw you know the deal give it a big thumbs up below subscribe below comment below if you have any requests for future videos go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below as well that's about it i will see you guys at the end and i really hope you enjoy all right, so first I am going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I am just going to prep my eyelids for my eyeshadow application. This is going to really even out the skin tone. This way I have a nice clean canvas to work with. Then I am going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I am just going to set my eyelids. So now I'm going to pick up on the shade Feels. And I'm going to use a Morphe M504 brush. And I'm just going to start on the outer corner. And I'm just going to start to build up the color. And then I'm going to start to extend it into the crease. And don't be afraid to blend this color almost into the brow bone. Then I'm gonna pick up on the shade Bing and a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just gonna start to pack this color on the outer corners. And with no added product, I'm going to run the shade through my crease. Then with the NARS Ignited palette and the same brush that I just used, I'm going to pick up on the shade Sophia. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did, but just to deepen the depth a little bit. Then I am going to cut my crease with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm going to put a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand to avoid me picking up too much product. And I like to hold the mirror below where I'm looking. This way it really opens up my lid. I'm only going to go about halfway. And then I'm also going to extend it in. Literally the hardest thing in the world for me is to get both of my cut creases even. I don't know why. I don't know if my face is just so not symmetrical <laughs> that it's just so hard for me, even if I follow the same lines, but... I mean, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Fake it till you make it. That's why I usually, like, if you notice, I'll take pictures from one side. Not to mention that, like, one side of my face, my nose, like, looks like it is cute and goes like this. This way, it kind of almost looks like it goes, like, out a little bit. But what are you gonna do? Okay, not bad. I doesn't have to be perfect because I'm putting eyeshadow on top of it, but we get the point here. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure that we're not creasing over here. And I'm going to set this one more time. And I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder again. So now I'm just going to start to blend some color where that concealer and the eyeshadow meet. So I think I'm going to pick up 
on this shade right here, which is fired up. And I'm just gonna press it along the outer third of my eyelid, but I want to kind of bring it up on an angle. Now I'm gonna take a MAC 242 brush and the shade Parisian Peach from the Too Faced Little Peaches palette. Tickled Peach palette, sorry. And so I didn't add any wetness to my brush. I'm just gonna see if it needs anything first. I think I like the softness of it without the wet brush. I'm just gonna pack that on. And the good thing about this brush is that if my concealer wasn't even, this is thin enough at the top that it can really continue to carve out the crease. Now I'm gonna take the shade Tickled on my finger and I'm just going to pat it where those two tones meet. And it's going to give a nice little gold peach reflective property to the center of my eye. Wrong shade. Now I'm going to go back in with the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. And I want to pick up on the shade Devilish. And I'm just going to start building up that outer corner to give us a nice smoky effect. And then with the same brush and the color Privacy, and I'm just going to buff this onto the outer half of my lash line. and up in that outer V. Then I am going to take a makeup remover wipe and on the folded edge I'm just going to press and pull. So simple. And then again press and pull. And now I am going to take my Benefit Roller Liner and I am going to wing out this line. So I want to make this more of a like cat eye wing and less of like an elongated wing, if that makes sense. I want it to be like more up and down than like out. So we're going to go for that. Let's see if we actually get it because wings are like the most intimidating thing to me. I don't do them as often as I usually do, so let's see. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. I feel like it's coming out good. I feel like this is a very Jen Atkin eyeliner look, and I'm here for it. Okay, I like it. I don't want to go all the way to the inside because I've been like studying a whole bunch of makeup artists work and I just love when the inside is bare because it keeps my eyes nice and open and I have small eyes to begin with. So uh, the hardest part is going to be trying to recreate this on the other side. Right now I'm going to tell you my biggest complaint about this liner. The very, very, very tip doesn't get like a lot of product to it. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible, I don't hate it. But now I am just going to take the makeup wipe and really just go along that edge. Now I'm going to pick up on the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes just to give my lashes a nice quick coat before moving on to the rest of my face. Ah, I just poked myself in the eye! Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Why do bad things happen to good people? I am going to first start off with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. For whatever reason, my pores have been extremely enlarged the last couple of days. I've been breaking out. It might have to do with the time of the month, but whatever it is, I'm not here for it. So Dr. Brandt is going to help me get rid of it. <laughs> Okay, so because it's Valentine's Day and we want to have some nice glowing skin, I'm going to use the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. So you're going to see, I'm going to use this as a base. It's just going to create such a beautiful radiance underneath my skin. Well, not underneath my skin. On top of my skin, but it's going underneath my foundation. So I'm just going to put a couple dabs on the back of my hand. Let's get a brush. I really love these Sephora brushes. I'm just going to start on the perimeters of my face just to warm it up. It blends out so nicely. It gives a uh, beautiful shine. We work it into the hairline. What I like about this is that it's not makeup-y. Like it's not thick. It's very, very thin and sheer. So even though it's like a layer underneath your foundation, it's not like a thick layer where things are going to start to feel cakey. So now because this just added a lot of warmth to my skin, and honestly I'm here for it, usually I would use the NARS Longwear Radiant, not concealer, NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation in L4.5, which is a light shade, and that's what would match my neck right now, honestly. Um, but I might gravitate a little bit more towards M1 this way. We'll see. I'm going to start with M1 kind of in the center, and if I need to go darker, I can go darker. If I need to go lighter, I can always lighten it up with a little concealer. So I'm going to start with one pump on the back of my hand. It may not look like a lot, but I don't want this to be a crazy face makeup look. I'm just using the same brush. And I actually think that this shade works pretty well. So obviously I have blemishes, but we'll cover those up. So I just put another pump on the back of my hand. Because I hate when I have those pour tops and I start pouring and I end up wasting so much foundation. I hate blending things into my neck when I'm wearing a turtleneck, but gotta do what you gotta do. Woo! And if you noticed, I'm blending everything out in a downward motion. I'm not pushing anything up into my pores. I really love this whole business that's going on right now. But I'm telling you, it's this Beauty Blur by Beauty Liberata. Not, what am I saying? Vita Liberata. Um, this is a game changer. It literally just warmed up my face and made me look like a different person. Okay, now I am going to conceal and brighten using the same NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer from before. And I like to go along the sides of my nose and smile. I actually picked up this trick from Makeup by Samuel during one of his live videos. So when you smile... You can see where the light would naturally hit your face. So I'm not going all the way over my cheek. So when you smile, it's good for above the cheek and under the eye, but also below the cheek so you can really carve. This is like reverse contouring. Especially because I already added warmth to my face with a darker foundation than I would usually use and that beauty blur. Now I'm just going to diffuse the edges. 
This is also why you don't want to use too much foundation because concealer blends out so much and it's so full coverage. And now I am just going to blend out the concealer even more. Next, I'm going to take my Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 and I'm just going to spritz my face before I set it. There's something about this spray, I can't put my finger on it, but it reminds me of something that I had when I was a child. I don't know if it was like a lotion that I used or a body spray or some type of makeup, I don't know, but it reminds me so much of something that I had when I was a kid. And I'm gonna go back in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to really set my face. Okay, so usually I set my whole face. Right now, I just wanna focus on areas that are going to definitely crease. So that is under my eyes, and then underneath my mouth, kind of in that crease of my chin. And a little bit on the sides of my mouth. And I'm just gonna go right in between my brows, not because it creases there, but more because I just want that to be a little bit more matte than it currently was. So I'm so excited because I have been using this Charlotte Tilbury Moon Beach in my kit forever, like for so long. It's probably been a really long time. I don't know how long though. <laughs> But anyways, um, I just ran out, so I bought two more, one for my kit and one for myself, because I, the things that I use in my kit, I don't use on myself, and the things that I use on myself, I don't really use on my kit. So I am going to put some on the back of my beauty blender, and I'm going to smile. You are going to love how this looks. It looks like just like a golden peachy glow. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to smile. And I'm just going to tap it on my cheeks. So freaking pretty. There's just something about like such a soft pink peachy look that's just so feminine and beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to bake right underneath my smile. Okay, so off camera, I applied my Lily Lashes for Sephora in the style Rome, and now I am just going to buff out that translucent setting powder that's left. Okay, so this tutorial is almost like a two-in-one. You get a whole look, but I'm also going to show you guys how I line my lips to give myself a bigger pout, um, because as we can see, I don't really have the largest lips. My top lip is definitely not full and that's something that I like to kind of cheat when I do my lip liners and lipstick. So uh, here's part two of this tutorial, um, how I kind of overline my lips and just give myself a nicer pout. Especially for Valentine's Day, you want your lips to look nice and juicy. All right, so because I want this to be a more monochromatic look, I'm going to stick with more of like a pinky nude lip as opposed to like a true, true nude lip and something that's too pink. So I am going to first pick up on the MAC lip liner shade in Spice. So I'm going to start on the outer corners of my bottom lip. And I'm going to line, you know how like your pigment of your lip stops and then you still have like a little bit of lip left? I'm going to line right on top of like the rest of the fullness of my lip. And if you lay the pencil down flat and not this, it's a lot easier to maneuver. Okay. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing on top. And then I am going to, before I fill in the sides, I'm going to tackle my cupid's bow area. So I actually, along with my lips being uneven, I actually have like a pretty uneven cupid's bow. However, it's like very rounded. It's not sharp. So I'm just kind of going to keep that shape, but go right above where you can almost see it's lighter up here. And after I go right above, I'm just going to connect. Okay, so now already, just with this one liner, you could see how much fuller my top lip looks. So now we are going to move on to my second liner. So the second liner I'm going to be using is Whirl by MAC, just because I love this color and it's a little bit darker than this shade. So now I'm going to like contour my lips. So I'm gonna start on the outer corner and really start to fill in that outer third of my lip. And then I'm going to make sure that I go right to the top of my lip. So see how I still haven't touched that center of my lip? Now we're gonna go in with lip sticks. Notice how I said two. <laughs> now I'm going to take this Pat McGrath mini lipstick in 1995. And I love how this color looks with the Whirl lip liner. So I'm just going to put this on the outer thirds of my lips. Then I'm gonna take one of my favorite nudes from drugstore. It's actually one of my favorite nudes, period, but this is Maybelline Nude Lust. And I'm just going to work this shade in the center of my lips. And now if we want to get really crazy, we can add a little gloss right on top. Because I do want to keep this nice and pink, I am going to take the Buxom Pink Champagne Lip Gloss. And again, I'm just going to put it right in the center of my lips because that's where I want it to be the most juicy. Now we'll put a little mascara on the bottom lashes. That's it guys, you made it to the end. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day, whether you're celebrating with a loved one or family and friends. Just please always, like always and every day, but please be safe and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's about it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Love you guys. Bye.